sunset. I don't know. I guess you have to sort of stay busy to keep up with things if you want, you know, if you want to be able to eat and you want to be able to have shelter and... But I kind of think maybe in a way sometimes we lose sight of those things, of just being able to eat and having shelter. I think we sort of um, complicate it make it more complicated than really what it is because really that's what we need is food and shelter and water. I think maybe it's all the noise, all the excess, all the extra. I don't know. These are just some of the things I was thinking about for the new year. Look at these tubes guys. Well now it's low tide so we're getting a break. Yeah. We're getting look a we break. got a we got a surf break. Holy shit look at it peeling off. <sighs> <laughs> this beach is actually really good. Yeah. High tide though, the wave might come right through. Yeah. Wow, pretty freaking cool. <laughs> oh, that's a perfect little oasis. It is. And look here, you got, you're not looking at too many houses. I mean, that's seawall. Man, places. if that broke through and the ocean came right in here, oh. and it, it actually created some waves, this would be a point break right here. But it wouldn't be very good for the marshland, for the mangroves and stuff. A huge snake! Oh my god! It's a hose. <laughs> hey, there's water in it. Careful. Actually, good hose. Yeah. <laughs> Home front. More garbage. I thought you said. I thought you told this me. This is the last about, of it, I think. Or at least it would be that and the foam, not this and the foam. Yeah. Anyways, we're trying. Yeah. Great, more waste. Like picking up waste. Yeah. that it didn't drift into that. Yeah, right. That's like a coral. We brought our dinghy up to a beach in the Turks and Caicos. We brought it up to land. Oysters on it. Wow. Anyway, we brought our boat up to, well, was it oysters? No, those were um, clam, uh, conch shells, yeah. And there were all these pointy conch shells all over the beach. And we had a wood dinghy. And we brought it up. And luckily we didn't have an inflatable. Some people have inflatables. Imagine bringing one up to that. But uh, yeah, we came up to it. Much. And it was covered with grass. So you couldn't tell that there was a uh, conch shell bed underneath. So we brought the boat up to it. And it just like crunched up against the so conch shells. So we leave, make sure we go straight back and don't get pulled over here. Yeah. And then we had to drag the boat off without without hurting it, so we ended up that way a little as we go. We'll come out that way. Yeah. We ended up finding a piece of uh, plywood. Oh, there was a piece of plywood sitting there. Yeah, we put it on a piece of plywood and could drag waves. it off the conch shells. There? Yeah. Well, there's some little oysters here, but nothing like that one. Yeah. Probably eat these, man. Yeah. I bet you if we dug right here with a clam rake, we'd get some clams, possibly. Yeah. Right in here, that would be really good, but I don't know. I'm not sure how polluted the water is here. At the moment. Look at this lovely fire. And you know what the beautiful thing about it is? This is aromatic cedar. What we can do is we can. Ah, it smells so nice. Mm, I love the smell of that. It's lovely. I'm not gonna burn that. That's gonna be our stir our But there cook are some stick. other pieces of that around that we could. Yeah. 
We should whittle that down, Pete. <laughs> well, I didn't bring a whittling knife, really. You got a machete. Oh, <laughs> the aromatic cedar, you can smell it when he hits it. It smells so good. I'll throw some in the fire. <laughs> Am I making it? <laughs> Maybe a little bit. <laughs> We had some coconut curry uh, soup and then some chicken that we had got from Publix and a little salt and pepper and some rice, pre-cooked rice that we brought and voila. Dinner. That thing's awesome. That thing's coming up for that. Yeah. Perfect. And otherwise you have to put your whole pan in the fire. Yeah. Which I've done, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> it's all blocking Was that the one you used on the trail? Yeah. I'm gonna wash my pan down by the river. Pete's over there chopping up some lumber so that we can put it in the fire. This, go this is going way better than last year. I think we know what to expect and did a little better job. I think we figured it out finally. <laughs> All right, this is why I got my mucking boots for the muck. I'm going to put this on an oyster so that I can not get it all muddy. Might be nice. <laughs> Find a steady piece of oyster here. There we go. Alright, now to do the dishes and then I'll rinse them in some fresh. Yeah. <laughs>